Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. Thank you for joining me today. I'm back with another 80s fragrance review. Been a long time since I've done a fragrance review dedicated to a fragrance from the 1980s. I'm not for sure, but maybe the last one I did was Dracar Noir, which is one of the greatest of all time. And that's one I'm gonna revisit probably, give that one another review, just, uh, just because. Today, I'm gonna be taking a look at this one. Quorum. Yes, a true 80s classic. Depending on where you look, this one was released in 1981 or 1982. Most places say 1982, but Fragrantica wants to be different and they have 1981 listed. This is one of the most inexpensive fragrances that you can find on the market. You can find this at discounters for under $15 for the 100 milliliter size bottle like you see here, fully sealed brand new. You can also find 50 milliliter size bottles, sometimes unboxed, for under $10. So this one is extremely affordable. In this video, we're going to check out the presentation, like always. Then I'm going to break this one down and let you know if I think Quorum is still worth being checked out over 35 years since it was first released. First off, guys, let's go ahead and check out the presentation. First off, here's a quick look at the box. You can see there the name of the fragrance. Got the concentration here up on the top. Ingredient information on the back. And then your badge code is punched into the box, though it is very hard to make out. It's right up there. And here is the bottle for Quorum. You have the name of the fragrance right there. There's no sticker on the bottom, which you'll notice. The cap does click into place, and there is your old school looking atomizer. I'll go ahead and waste a couple of sprays for you guys here. The atomizer is smooth to press down. One thing you may have noticed though, is that it does sort of a fine mist. So like a little puff of fragrance, not one of those fragrances that's gonna give you a very concentrated stream or blast. So this one kind of finely mists the area that you spray it onto. Sometimes that can make it where the fragrance comes across a little bit lighter than you might like because it just settles in really softly when you first spray it on. And when I say come across softly, I mean the way that the atomizer is dispersing it, how finely it's putting the fragrance out there. Quorum has spawned just a couple of flankers, Quorum Silver and then Aqua Quorum. I have reviewed Quorum Silver. That one came out in 2005 and that one is also extremely affordable. That fragrance is going to be more based around ginger, cedar wood, pink pepper, and guyac wood. All right, let's talk about this one, the OG, the original Quorum. This one opens up with a little bit of citrus. If you look up the notes here, you'll notice that there are multiple citrus notes in the top of the fragrance, but citrus is not really one of the main players here. So you get a little bit in the opening, just a little pop of freshness from the citrus, but not a whole lot. This is not a juicy, fresh boy. This is an 80s powerhouse. So that citrus is overwhelmed basically immediately and it's going to be overtaken by oak moss, pine, and leather, which is almost like the 80s de facto powerhouse trio. So it's gonna give you a familiar 80s green sort of vibe off the top. There's also caraway in there, which lends a little bit of a nuance to the fragrance, a little bit of an herbal, uh, sharp, bitter contrast to those other notes, as well as wormwood or artemisia, working in with the caraway. So those two are kind of playing second fiddle to that leather, the oak moss, and the pine. And there's actually tobacco that comes out in here as well pretty early on, which just adds to that 80s <laughs> macho powerhouse kind of vibe that Quorum has. The sharpness in the opening of this fragrance fades away pretty quickly. About 10, 15 minutes in, that's pretty much gone off my skin. The tobacco in here is not at all like the popular tobaccos that you'll find in fragrances being released nowadays. So most tobacco notes in modern mint fragrances are going to be of the sweetened variety, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's a big departure from how they came across in the 80s. So ones nowadays are sweet, a lot of times cherried. So like cherry pipe tobacco is a very popular take on that note. The tobacco in Quorum is dry. It's more like a cigarette tobacco. There's a little bit of smoke and quorum from that tobacco and from the leather, 
but it's not a huge amount of smoke. It's not one of the prominent things in the scent. And the pine note that's in Quorum is more like a foresty take on pine. It's not resinous or sappy or, you know, syruped or sweet or anything like that. Sometimes with pine notes, it comes across more like you've been carrying a pine tree and then you smell your hands afterwards and you have all that sap and resins on your hand. That's not the case here. The pine is more like you're walking through part of an evergreen forest to an extent. Although I will preface that by saying it's with a very 80s touch. It's not like a hyper realistic walk through a pine forest. A couple other notes that I pick up on, especially heading through the mid into the dry down in Quorum, are carnation and patchouli. Carnation is a floral note that was used heavily in men's fragrances in decades past. Nowadays, carnation is just about done for. You don't really see it in modern sense ever. It's extremely rare. Uh, although if you look back at fragrances from the 70s, the 80s, carnation was used all over the place. There's also patchouli in quorum, and the patchouli in here is going to give it a bit of an earthy touch. And helping along with that earthiness, along with the patchouli, is going to be the oak moss and leather. They all kind of jive together. Into the dry down, quorum is going to have a little bit of a soft, barbershoppy soapiness to the fragrance. And uh, that's something that you see oftentimes in 80s fragrances as well. That sort of barbershoppy, gentlemanly vibe, only changed around a little bit to have that masculine 80s overtone to it. Because a lot of older fragrances that came out before the 80s, you had that barbershoppy vibe, and a lot of them barbershoppy had that weird. But in the 80s, they gave it that, that little bit of a twist, that Tom Selleck twist. In the dry down, the oak moss, the tobacco, and the leather are going to be the most prominent notes to me. There's also a little bit of a residual green kind of vibe in there from the pine, and that's what carries out the rest of the fragrance while you have it on your skin. The leather here is gonna be more of a suede kind of leather to me as well. The leather doesn't come across like a slick black leather or a slick brown leather or a leather jacket or anything like that, more of a, a suede. Quorum is green, earthy, slightly soapy, and undeniably masculine. Can I see young guys wearing this nowadays? No. No, not really at all, unless you're a big fan of old school masculine scents. If you are, 100% go for it, because this one does that in spades. But if you're a young guy looking for modern <laughs> compliment pulling kind of fragrance that you want to pick up for under 20 bucks, that's not what this is. You'll be disappointed. If you want a classically masculine scent though, with little hints of earth, of greens, of uh, barbershop soap, of leather, of dry tobacco, a little touch of smoke, all that. Check this out, it's a good one. As far as when you would wear Quorum, for me, fall and winter. This is not the kind of fragrance that screams out to me, hey, you know, it's 80 degrees outside, 90 degrees outside. Let's hit ourselves with that 80s powerhouse balls. Spray it on, give yourself 15, 20 sprays, choke out everybody, yeah. I don't, I don't think it's a good idea. Fall and winter. As far as performance, longevity, eight plus hours, so no problems there. In terms of projection, it's going to be above average through the mid once you hit the dry down, once it starts to get a little bit more on that soapy side, once that comes out a little bit more, it's gonna be sitting closer to your skin. One thing to be aware of with Quorum, which is not really something that you can help if you're buying this new, is that it has been reformulated. So if you have an old school bottle, you know, from the 80s, early 90s, mid 90s, you're gonna have a bit more oomph, you're gonna have more projection, you're gonna have better longevity. That being said, even the reformed bottle is still going to outperform most modern fragrances. The only thing to be aware of, again, is the atomizer, as I said before, and we'll give it one more go. It really just does very fine mist. So when you spray yourself, you have to make sure you're getting a, a good amount on there and that it's not just kind of making a cloud around your skin. Um, so what I mean by that is if you hold it out to here and you give it a spray, a lot of that is just going to kind of atomize up here, over here. You're not really going to get a lot of coverage where you're spraying if you're hitting your arm, neck, whatever. So just be cognizant of that and uh, make sure that you apply enough which really just a few good sprays is enough. Of course, you always could go uh, with spraying it on your clothes, then it's gonna cling to the fibers of your clothing and be there forever until you wash it. For the cost, under $15, if you're a fan of 80s fragrances, smoking deal. 
absolute must buy if you like that kind of fragrance. I mean, the price, unbeatable. It's under 20 bucks. Now, this was available, Quorum, at Ross's and TJ Maxx and Marshall's all the time. I can't tell you how many times I saw this fragrance available at Ross's. They always had like two, three, four bottles of this one. Now, I know as of right now, all those stores are closed, so you can't go in there and just pick one up. But keep that in mind if it's something that you're interested in. Once everything opens back up, don't know when that's going to be, you should be able to find this for a cheap price in those stores. Of course, though, you could just tack this on to an existing order on whatever discounter you like to use, or you could go onto eBay or Amazon or whatever and pick it up for under 20 bucks just by itself. It's an absolute classic. I think if you're a collector, you've got to have this in your collection. I mean, it's just one of the quintessential fragrances from the 80s. And it's got everything in there that most of the big groundbreaking fragrances of the 80s had. I mean, this one is to an extent like polo green for the 80s or something. That is Quorum. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for my take on Quorum. One that I'll probably want to pick up a vintage bottle of down the line, but realistically for 99% of people out there, the vintage bottle is not gonna be worth the markup in price, especially again, when you consider how inexpensively you can pick this up. I mean, even if you only got six hours longevity or five hours or whatever, it's $15 for 100 milliliters. I mean, realistically, you could go super heavy on this if you wanted to, and it doesn't matter. You can pick up a replacement for next to nothing. If you've smelled that one, guys, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. As always, thanks so much for your support. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.